Hey, I'm Rick here, and today we're taking a look at a LEGO Stars Battle Pack. This is set number 75198, Tatooine Battle Pack. It has 97 pieces and originally retailed for $15 in the US. So let's get on with it, moving this guy out of the way. We're going to take a look at the figures last, hopefully. So, again, I say this in almost every Battle Pack video. Star Wars battle packs are usually, almost every time, not based on canon. And rarely they are based on the EU, the extended universe, which isn't canon, but most likely they're just their own little thing that, that aren't based on anything, yet the figures are based on stuff. But here, I don't know, I, I, get, the, I get what they were going for, I think that even in canon this would be cool, you know, little deployable sand uh a little deployable thing to come out of a sand collar but i i don't get the need for this which i'll talk about more in the the thoughts at the end but let's get into the build it has two clips on either side this one holds this sort of hammer slash pick and this one holds a wrench i like the sort of blue transparent blue studs they got for some lighting in there and then it's nice how this thing is built up some studs at the sh side construction have two stud shooters on either side the way those work is you push this and they'll fire clean off and i probably lost that forever and yeah those get lost all the time don't worry about it they include tons of extra ones in the set maybe six or eight so anyway they use these sort of technique pieces to show sort of the tank mechanism of it just going around as the big sand crawlers do. I like the sort of implemented windshield and it looks good from the front. There's the bottom, some sand green, nice to see that. And here's space for figures. You could have one here, one here, probably another one here. And then they have this sort of crane. So the way that works is it can move around, spin up, it's on a spin table. This can move, this piece can move like this. This piece can move like this, but it can only go so much since they have a pin back there to hold it in place. At the end, it has this piece so that you could come up, you could bring this down and pick up a droid, bring him up in astromech in this case, and then place them right there. That works out pretty well. There is a jumper and some sort of tiling. So. Putting that down, that's basically how this whole thing works out. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the build of this set. Starting with figures, this should count. It's the Astromech, uses the same R2-D2 molding and the same R2-D2 <laughs> printing for the front. No printing on the back as R2-D2 has. Uh, doesn't have, sorry. And then it uses the redhead to show that it's not R2-D2. That's weird to me. I like the red head. That's not the weird part, but you see all these white lines? That looks like some fingerprints actually on that. I don't know what's going on with that. If anyone gets this, please in the comments let me go let me know if uh you have the same problem. Just say fingerprint astromech or something. But yeah, the prints look pretty good. Just I don't know what all the lines are about and the opacity, the thickness isn't there, so it's supposed to be like this thick solid color white but you see sort of gray because there's red behind that looks good along the back again this happened so many times with astromex this year lego get it right but on the front it's sort of straight and then on the back it sort of slopes up as you can see like it's going up slowly so yeah the head isn't aligned and even from i uh, know from the top i guess it's fine but the back is just a bit closer to the stud than the front is but yeah it just looks sort of weird with the blue the blue printing on the front i think they should have just redone it and made it red but that's it for this here is a tuscan raider it has this sort of brick built uh accessory like that cone piece in gray so yeah there's the top of it but taking a look at him himself the leg printing is looking good so is the torso printing yeah everything about this figure is fine it's accurate but the head is just so nice it's wrapped all around it has these horns sticking out and then from the front it just looks so accurate maybe too accurate yeah i think that this might look too realistic in comparison to other lego minifigures it just looks so realistic but yeah most of these specialized stars ones like bounty hunters and such look really realistic with their special head molds not sure if that's a good thing i think it is for realism but then 
Also, they don't go too well with other figures. But yeah, that's it for him. Here is one of the two Jawas included in the set. Has a stud shooter, the same way the ones on the vehicle work that I showed you, how you press down on that. But yeah, stud shooters are way too bulky to the, for these things. I like the old styled guns that were just the molds that didn't shoot. Obviously, these add play and Lego is a toy, so that's good. But they should include both one for display one set of guns for display one set of guns for play but this is not an exclusive figure though it is good there's the back torso printing the front torso printing he has no print on the back of the head but i really like the printing on the front just the two yellow lights that ar has seen so much here is the second java sorry about that included in the set and it is not exclusive, but it's different from this one. The only difference is the torso printing. You see some orange there. And then that's the back. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the figures. As a collector, I feel that this set is good. It's to maybe set up your own scene or mocks, which stands for a mind creation of maybe just having some Jawas around the place. You know, you can make the scene from um, A New Hope. You know, you can do something like that, but lego's a toy so i don't get why they made this i feel like it's a waste they could have included something better maybe in actual star wars the last jedi uh, battle pack with some cool figs because this i don't know what kid is gonna say for my birthday i want a set that has jawas a tuscan raider and an astromech i don't see the play value here whatsoever they tried to set up some play, giving it stud shooters and then one one Tuscan Raider, but what's going to happen? The Tuscan Raider is just going to run, four guns are going to be pointed at it, and that's the end, you know? And then the Astromite's just sort of thrown in there. So yeah, I don't feel like this one's good for play at all. And then for display and collectability, this doesn't exist in the Star Wars universe, in canon, I believe. It might exist in the extended universe, but definitely not in canon. So yeah, not even that good for display. The only thing cool here is the figures. And honestly, this one isn't that good. This one comes in a $30 set. It's, the Jawas are pretty good, you know, but I don't see as a toy how this thing works out at all. It's mainly, like just for the more collectible people or the reviewers who have to buy sets to review them like this i just reviewed this set it's a separate set but this set has way more play value than this one you know even though it's only one side of the conflict only the first order not even the resistance it has more play value than this they tried to bring it in again with the tuscan raider but honestly i don't think this set works out and I think that your money would be better spent on some other battle pack with more play value. But, you know, if you like the figs, then maybe you want it. But that's it for this review. I hope you like it. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.